Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be unboxing my September BoxyCharm box. This one I'm extra excited about because at the time I'm filming this, my birthday is in two days, so I am looking at this like a little surprise gift to myself for my birthday. So I'm really hoping that I get some good products in here. But yes, we are going to be unboxing this baby and seeing what I got this month. I'm gonna try out whatever I can try out and we'll go from there. So if you wanna see what I got this month, make sure to one, keep watching and two, like this video for me and subscribe to my channel, if nothing else, for my birthday because it would mean the world to me and you guys get three videos a week. So please just make sure to subscribe. But if you wanna see what I got this month, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So as usual, we are going to open this up, see what's in here. I don't know what I got. I like to keep it a surprise. So this is the base box. I know there is like a premium box too, but I'm just doing the base box. It's like a nice little surprise to me every month. So yes, let's see what we got. So I'm just opening up this tab and we've got Hello Charmer and the Instagram handle and the hashtag. So opening this up, you get ugh, the logo for BoxyCharm. So I love it, but the box, not the box, the card, is let's see what the theme is real life runway because it's your world we're just living in it i say that all the time about my cats because they're just like the most spoiled cats in the world so i always say it's their world and we're just living in it so very on par and then it says strut your runway so i love this theme so the first product that we have in here is from wander beauty it's the On The Glow Blush and Illuminator. It says, Wander Beauty's original award-winning multitasker delivers a full look in the palm of your hand. On The Glow can be used on cheeks, lips, eyes, and body, streamlining your beauty routine and helping you do more with less. With cream color on one end and buildable illuminator on the other, on the Glow keeps you gorgeous on the go. And it goes for $38. Let's see what this is. I was expecting it to be a palette for some reason, but it's like a stick. So it's a blush and illuminator. It says this is shade Bare. So let's see what this is. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice fall winter blush. Let me see on the back of my hand. That is gorgeous. And then on the other side is a highlighter. So here's what the highlighter looks like. I'm obsessed with the blush shade. The highlighter shade is like okay to me. It's not wowing me, but it is really pretty. Let me see if I can like take a little bit on my finger and just... This is really pretty. I just put like a tiny bit, but I'm super surprised. This is like very, very pigmented, first of all. And second of all, I'm surprised at how nice it looks on top of a powder. Like it blended really nicely on top of a powder. It didn't like wipe anything off. Uh, the illuminator wiped a little product off my face, I feel like, but I don't know, it's pretty. I have to play around with this, but I love this kind of color for fall and winter, which is literally right around the corner coming any day now. So this came just in time. So far, I really like it colors beautiful next up we have from ace butte it's the violet sage palette this palette features a combination of light and airy colors and some deep colors to spark creativity and create a variety of looks each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff goes for 32 dollars. so this is a palette so here's what this looks like let's just take it out of the box I like that they're like extra, extra packaging these things these days. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of purples. And I was right. So here is what this looks like. I like that it has a mirror. I can't remember if my other Ace Butte products had mirrors, but I actually really, really like these colors. I feel like, am I gonna use them very often? Probably not, because I'm not a big woo, purple person, but I feel like these colors are really beautiful. So I'm gonna just swatch them really quick and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what they look like and we'll talk details. So give me one second, I'll be right back. I'm back, I just swatched everything. 
I'm really, really impressed with how pigmented these are. Like, look at how much color I got out of these. I know my swatches aren't like the most organized right now, but just wanted to show you really quick. They are crazy, crazy pigmented, like all of these colors. I feel like some of these would be hard to get like very, very pigmented, but they are. It looks really, really nice. Again, I feel like a lot of these shades are not things that I would typically grab for because I am a natural glam kind of girl. And as much as I try to like steer away and try new things, I just always go back to the same natural glam looks. But that's okay. I feel like I do need to like step out of my comfort zone. So maybe I'll find a place for this in my collection. These light pinks are like calling my name. They're really, really beautiful, but very pigmented. Let me just take some of, I'm taking this one. It's anemone, this like really light pink. I'm just putting it on my lid because I don't want to do anything too dramatic as usual, but I do want to see what this light pink does for me. And it's gorgeous, very pigmented. It looks so cute. I feel like I would be so like happy wearing this by itself. Like it's not too much, not too little. It's like really, really nice. I love it. This, I really like the idea of, I just have to keep playing around with it. So next up we have from Siat London, it's the Bamboo Bronzer. This oil controlling formulation is infused with botanical ingredients including bamboo powder for a shine free sun kissed finish. The super lightweight powder can be swept across cheekbones for a subtle glow or built up to contour and chisel your features. $25, so let's see what we're working with love the packaging it's super cute and like i love how it has those little stars on it it like feels christmasy to me but i love it let's see the inside oh my god i love this packaging and it's not matte it has like a slight goldish shimmer to it on the inside but it is beautiful and i love the detail this mirror is nice too it's small but it's really really nice let me just take oh this feels like butter <gasps> this is so soft you guys it's very warm. Here's what it looks like. Let me take a little brush and let's just see like a little bit what this looks like on my cheeks. I feel like things are looking a little crazy right now, but oh, that is pigmented. You do not need a lot with this, you guys. Very little amount. It's super, super warm. But I feel like this would be nice like if you've already contoured your face. I don't know if I'd necessarily contour my face with this. Whoopsie. But I feel like I would like warm up my face with this after contouring. And I'd probably only use this when I have more of a tan. I don't have a tan. That's after this video. But I actually really like this. It feels really good. It has a nice pigment to it. It's not like patchy. I just have a lot of makeup on my face right now. So I really like the idea of this. I just have to keep playing around with it as usual. Next we have from Vintage by Jessica Liebeskind. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Everyone mispronounces my name too. Um, it's the Sparkling Lip Gloss. Give your lips a glittery glow with this sheer reflective formula that provides luminous shine and sophisticated shimmer. It can be worn alone over your favorite lipstick or with a lip pencil for a perfectly polished pout. $25. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, this reminds me of the Becky G brand. Like I feel like the tube looks kind of similar. Uh, let me see what this looks like on the back of my hand. This literally looks like the eyeshadow I just put on but in a lip gloss form and I am here for it. Let me put it on my lips a little bit. I have product on my lips already, but just a little. That is beautiful. I feel like this is gonna be one that I grab for a lot. Like it feels like I just put a chapstick on. Like it feels very comfortable. It's not sticky at all. It's super lightweight. It feels really, really good. I love how this looks too with whatever I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's just giving me so much shine without like looking and feeling like too much. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, you guys, I might need to see if they have this in more colors because I really like this. And then last but not least, 
we have from basic beauty it's the gel lip liner duo these gel lip liners are creamy long lasting and hydrating they smoothly glide onto lips and blend with little to no effort $24 but it's $24 for how many we don't know we'll see two and they seem like they're like on the darker side so let me see from basic ooh, cute let me see this one is shade latte and this one is shade cocoa these are definitely going to be good fall and winter shades so here's latte this like reddish and then here's cocoa this brown Honestly, I feel like latte and this blush on my lips would be like maybe a good combo And I feel like latte kind of sort of goes with what I have on my lips right now, but it might be too dark That's actually really nice. I really like this color I don't see myself using this brown as often because I'm not like a true true brown lip kind of girl but I think I can make it work. This one I definitely will be using though because I love these like reddish brownish colors, especially for the fall and winter. And they're super creamy, insanely pigmented, super easy to apply. So I really like these so far and the packaging is so cute and unique. So love that, but that is it. That's all five products. Honestly, I'm really happy with the box that I got this month. This was a nice little birthday surprise from me to me. So I'm super happy with it. Like all of these products are ones that I want to keep playing with. The only one that I'm a little bit iffy on is the eyeshadow palette. Cause like I said, those shades are not ones that I typically go for, but I want to try and play around with it. Cause they are very, very pigmented and the colors are really nice. So everything had its own little flair to it so super happy with it two thumbs up for this box super excited for the next one but that is it for today so comment let me know what your thoughts let me know what you guys think about what i got if you guys got same stuff let me know if you got totally different things let me know what you got in your box just give me your thoughts give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next one